In today's video, I want to talk about QVC. I want to talk about one of the most popular hosts that's ever been on QVC. If you watch QVC, you can probably guess who it is. So I hope you will stick around for today's video. We're going to be talking about the queen of QVC host, the beautiful Lisa Robertson. If you're new to this channel, welcome. I hope you will like and subscribe. This channel does videos about different topics, and I hope it's things that you'll enjoy and encourage you. Subscribing to a YouTube channel is free. Hit the notification bell so you'll be notified when the next video is published. Now to today's video. In today's video, I want to celebrate one of my favorite hosts of QVC. Now, she's no longer at QVC. I believe she left in 2014. You probably remember Lisa Robertson if you watched QVC from 1994 to, say, 2014. She was on the channel for 20 years. Very popular, very poised, and very beautiful. Lisa Robertson was born in Tennessee in 1965. I saw an interview with Lisa when she talked about her childhood. She says that she grew up in a small town and had a horse named Luma. As Lisa got older, she was trained as a classical violinist and later became a beauty queen. Lisa was crowned Miss Tennessee in 1989. I have heard Lisa Robertson in interviews talk about her experience in pageants, specifically the Miss Tennessee and then competing in the Miss America pageant. She said it was a good experience. Lisa says that being involved in the Miss America pageant was really a good experience. She said she learned about public speaking and being able to think on your feet and also being civic minded. In that same interview, Lisa said that she wanted to encourage young women to participate in pageants, or at least back then. She said that you do learn a lot from being involved in those big pageants like Miss Tennessee and participating in Miss America. She has her own website now, lisarobertson.com. If you liked Lisa Robertson as a host on QVC, I think you'll like her website. Go check it out. She has things for your home, jewelry, and beauty products. You can also find Lisa on Facebook and Instagram. Lisa's mother passed away several years ago of ovarian cancer. There's a very heartfelt interview with Lisa that was done by QVC and was on their website for a while. It may still be available. I'm not sure. But she talked about her mother being diagnosed with stage four ovarian cancer. After 20 years of being on QVC and presenting jewelry, fashion, beauty items, it made Lisa somewhat of an expert. She now, or then, started her own line of clothing for QVC called G-I-L-E. I think you pronounce it Geely. I think Geely stood for Girl, I Love It. But I'm not sure about that. But I remember when that line came out, I was watching QVC then, and I loved the clothes. I don't know if that line is still available on QVC. Now let's address some of those rumors about Lisa Robertson. One of the rumor that I've heard is that she was one of the original hosts of QVC. Well, that rumor is not true. <laughs> Lisa started at QVC, I think, in 1994. And I think QVC started in 1986. Remember, Lisa was participating in beauty pageants and won Miss Tennessee in 89. So I don't think she would be old enough to be a host on QVC at that time. So I think that rumor is false. Another rumor that goes around about Lisa Robertson is why she left QVC. Well, I'm not going to go into the rumors I've heard and read online because I don't want to spread any more of those. But I know that she did an interview with Robin Roberts 
from ABC's Good Morning America, talking about why she left QVC. So that was in her own words. I'll try to, if I can find a link to that interview that she did with Good Morning America with Robin Roberts, I'll leave a link in the description of this video so you can see her being interviewed, if I can find it. But what she says in that interview, I remember it well. She was talking about having stalkers. She had several stalkers over the years while she was a host on QVC. In the interview with Robin Roberts from ABC, Lisa talked about being afraid to even go out of her house. There was one incident that I read in some police report. I think it, the report was shown maybe on that interview on ABC where the stalker was arrested. He said that he was so close to her in a movie theater he could smell her popcorn. So these stalkers were really dangerous in my opinion and I believed Lisa believed they were too and I do think that's why she stepped away from hosting QVC because I think she believed now this is just my opinion I felt like she was becoming so afraid to live her life because she was on QVC so often these stalkers were seeing her so much it was giving them this sense that they knew her well and they had this relationship with her it became dangerous some of her stalkers were arrested. One stalker in particular was arrested, convicted, did jail time, and when he was out on probation, he actually stalked Lisa again. These stalkers were affecting Lisa's life so greatly that she was living in fear. She reportedly said that she was locking herself in her house every day. Lisa has her bachelor's degree in long-term health care administration. Lisa loves to travel. She has traveled to over 22 countries. One of her favorite countries is Italy. She's been there multiple times. She said in an interview that if she were given the choice, did y'all just hear my rooster crow outside while I'm making this video? Sorry, I have one rooster and he just loves coming to the back door and eating my cat's food. Lisa said in an interview that if given the choice between going to the beach or a destination where she had never been to before, she would take the destination she'd never been to before. And now to clear up another rumor. There's a rumor going around that Lisa Robertson has gotten married. Well, according to her official Facebook page, she has. Thanks so much for watching today's video. I really do like Lisa Robertson. I admire her and I wish her well. I miss her on QVC but I certainly hope she's doing well. And if you want to keep up with Lisa Robertson, check her out on Facebook, Instagram, or certainly on lisarobertson.com and maybe buy some jewelry or makeup from Lisa. Well, thanks a lot, y'all. Until next time, bye.